situation. There you have it. Outside the line. Black Bulls of your United States Army parachute team. Welcome in, your Lieutenant Governor. And she comes in for a beautiful landing in front of the beautiful Capitol. For a beautiful welcome home. But in all sincerity, I was honored to join the United States Army Golden Knights today in this public demonstration of support for those who selflessly serve our country. The men and women of our armed forces put their lives in danger every day in defense of our freedom and our way of life. They deserve our thanks and constant recognition for their service to our communities, our state, and our nation. Right now, more than 20,000 Minnesota men and women are serving on active duty in the National Guard, the U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, and the Reserves. More than 600 members of Minnesota's National Guard are actively deployed today in Kuwait and Afghanistan. Every day, Minnesota soldiers volunteer their time, their labor, and their lives to make America safer and the world a better place. The community covenant that I'm signing today with Governor Dayton and Secretary of State Ritchie symbolizes our shared commitment to supporting our troops abroad and our veterans here at home. When we make that commitment, we mean it, and we will continue doing everything we can in this administration to honor that commitment with action. We're proud Minnesota that we have uh, partnered with uh, the active army in the recognition that our soldiers are men and women who serve heroically in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan need and deserve and their families need and deserve our, our active support. And this army community covenant reads, together we are committed to building strong communities. We, the community, recognize the commitment soldiers and families are making every day.